This is how we draw the lenses for what we call ray diagrams. Let me write that up there. Ray diagrams. I think I need a pen. Ray diagrams. Ray. Okay. To figure out how images form using lenses. Because you saw when I held up that paper uh, earlier with a lens in front of it, uh, and there was the image of the tree outside, it actually formed an actual real image. That means an image appeared on the screen. Uh, and that screen could have been anything. It was just a white piece of paper. Uh, but we want to see how images form. So we talk about an object, and maybe the tree was the object. And uh, we had a lens, and we projected an image. And so with ray diagrams, we can figure out how that works. Uh, this is the principal axis. This is, we think of having an object over here, object over here. And we think of an image forming somewhere. So we want to look at that object. And that object could be a tree, could be anything, but we generally just kind of draw it as an arrow coming up from the principal axis. Okay? And the only reason we draw as an arrow is we want the top and the bottom to have some different feature because sometimes it's going to be upside down and we want to see that it's upside down. Uh, but this object is there, just sit, sitting there, and we need a lens. And we put the lens on what's called the optical axis. Okay, So I could do that. You would not believe how many times it took me to try to get a good drawing of a concave, a convex lens. And let me write that convex lens. Um, I, it's so hard. Convex lens. And uh, even just writing the word convex was a challenge. So what we sometimes do is, I'm going to take this away actually, because sometimes what we do is we represent a convex lens like this. We draw it like this. Okay, it looks like two arrows going out. And the reason is because dot, 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 that would be a concave lens. Uh, excuse me, convex lens. A concave lens looks like this. And to make the art easier, we sometimes draw it like this to show that the bottom and top are wider than the middle. Here it shows that the top and bottom are narrow and the middle part would be wide. So it's just another way of drawing this same thing. Now, one thing we know, and now we've got to get to the actual lines. One thing we know is that light that travels through a, uh, through a, excuse me, through a lens in the very middle, and it's called the thin lens approximation goes straight through. It's bent a little bit. It's displaced. So, for example, it'll bend and it'll bend back, but this line is always going to be parallel to this line. If the lens is thin enough, this, this light appears to go straight through. So the ray that we see from the top of this object, let's pretend it's the top of a tree, the light that reflects off this that goes through the center of the lens will continue in the straight line. But additionally, we know that light that comes in parallel when I was demonstrating that that lens goes through a special place called the focal point okay and I really do, do need to draw that the focal point um, let's make it yellow is the distance from the center of the lens I'll call that focal point and that distance is called Focal length, length, and this is the focal point. That is the point where all parallel lines must come together. So all parallel lines would come through here. So let's actually draw. What would that, when that line hits lens, it's going to refract through the focal point. Oh, don't want that. Get rid of that. And remember when I was moving that uh, that laser back and forth, and one one point appeared to stay 
constant, and that was it right there, right where those two intersect. So that actually tells us now where our uh, image will form. And so here's the image. The image will be like this. And think of it. All the light that reflects off the top of this object, whatever it happens to be, it could be me with my shiny bald head, all the light that reflects off is going to eventually come to this point. And we don't draw most of those rays. This one will go through there. This one down here will go through there. Okay, we only draw those two rays. That's enough to show how the image will form. The bottom of the object is on the principal axis. The bottom of the, of the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, of the image. Image. That's terrible. That's the image. So the bottom of the image would be on the principal axis, and the top is where those two things intersect. Here are the rules you need. One. Draw the two axes. Two, draw the lens. Three, draw image. And I left out one important part. Draw lens and the focal points. And the reason I say focal points is because there's another focal point over here. It's actually symmetric. Oops. It's actually symmetric. So there's a focal point over here the same distance away. We didn't happen to use that, but in some of these ray diagrams we will. So you draw the two axes, draw the lens and the focal points, and then you draw the image. And let me erase or move this. Um, over here okay because there are two more steps well really kind of three more one is draw ray from top of image up dog it object you draw the object we don't know the image yet we draw the object over here as an arrow then we draw a ray from top of that from top of object straight through the center straight through center through center then draw parallel ray I'm going to draw it like two parallel lines ray and refracting through focal point through focal point okay now let me select all that stuff I want to keep that together uh, that's not what I went, meant to do And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to start another page. So, starting this all over again. Draw two axes. Draw a lens and the focal points. Draw an object. Draw a ray from the top straight through the center. And draw a parallel ray. So I'm going to draw, once, I'll get, once again, my two axes. And let's go here. I'm going to make them white. my principal axis and my optical axis and then you draw the lens I'm going to still keep with the uh, converging or convex lens so I draw it like this and I draw it nice and big it would actually look come out like that but this is easier to draw and my focal points okay so I'm going to put these focal points in really close this time. I don't know why. That They would generally, this much would be given to you. And I'm going to draw an image. And I'm going to draw it out here. I'm going to change something in the next one. But uh, right now, let's just stick with this. 
Okay, so I've drawn two axes, lens and focal points, draw the object, and now we draw the ray from the top straight through the center. Again, um, there we go. I like to have it um, a solid line for reasons you'll see in a minute. Oops, didn't do that right. So, go straight through the center. Me saying it louder doesn't make it work better. There we go. Straight through the center of the lens and extend it down. Then I do another one. And this one, I come in parallel. Right up to the lens, right up to the center of the lens there, or the middle, the optical axis. And then down through there. And then finally I draw my image. And I draw my image from the, para the uh, principal axis. Oh, it's supposed to be straight up and down. I didn't do a great job there. Just like that. Now, we can also describe that Im image. And when we descri describe that image, I would call that smaller than the object and inverted meaning it's upside down. And this is how your eyes work. The sensor at the back of your eye will see an image that looks like this. You'll have different sensors here picking up all the parts of the image that correspond to all the different parts of the object. Because I could draw a ray diagram for each part of the object. Here's, here's the top of the tree. Here's a branch right down here. Here's, uh, I don't know, a knot in the wood. It would form an image over here but it's smaller and inverted. On the back of your eye is an inverted, obviously smaller image of what's outside. And that's roughly how your eye works. This is for convex, or sometimes we call it converging, with the object outside the focal point. Different things happen when you have the object inside the focal point. That's called a magnifying glass. Um, the other kind of lens we have is concave, which spreads out. It's diverging. And we will talk about convex lenses with the object in here and concave lenses uh, in the next lesson.